playing on the driveway. I'm trying to teach Grayson to not go in the street. Uh. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. We don't go in the street. Uh. Yeah. So we're just out here waiting for my sister to get here. We are um, about to head out to Cincinnati to go wedding dress shopping and hopefully we find her a wedding dress this weekend. It is tax free weekend this weekend. And uh, four years ago when I went and got my dress, I had got it on tax free weekend and we actually did get the tax off the wedding dress, even though it's supposed to be for like school stuff. So we're hoping we can get that same deal again. Not sure. Um, <laughs> And so I'm just, we're out here waiting on Allison to come. We're waiting on Anthony to get home from work so that he can hang out with Gray while I leave. Ah. Yeah, ouch. Ouch. We don't go in the street. Ah. Yeah. Gray just likes to go up and down our driveway. It's got a little slant to it, so I worry about him like falling, but he's done okay so far. Ah. Yeah, ouch. Ouch. So this is the first time that um, Anthony will do like an overnighter with Grayson by himself. That has, has not happened yet. So hopefully they do well and Anthony survives. Because that's a long time to be alone with Grayson without me. But I think he can do it. He said he's looking forward to it. Um, Grayson is very attached to me because I'm with him all day every day. And so he's not so attached to Anthony. So I'm hoping after this, you know, two days of just them two, maybe he'll feel more comfortable with Anthony or something. I don't know. Yeah, we don't go in the street. Ouch. There he goes, back up the driveway. It's been so hot and humid and sunny this summer that our grass is dying because there's just no rain to water it and we, we don't have sprinklers so I mean our grass doesn't look too bad but Anthony hasn't mowed it in about three weeks now and it's really not that high because there's just no rain oh did you find a dandelion yellow back up the driveway Oh, more dandelions, it's a flower. You're supposed to make a wish on that one and blow. And back down. Ouch. Ouch. We don't go in the street. Yeah.
apartment here in Cincinnati. That is like all my clothes. A walk-in. Yeah. She actually made me clothes. She's got an awesome view of downtown Cincinnati. A cute little porch. Yeah. And lots of trees and greenery. A little loft with just a bed and a couch. Hey guys, so I'm editing this video and I realized I explained in the beginning like what this weekend was going to look like, but then I didn't really explain like once we were in Cincinnati, like, what happened and everything. So I just wanted to let you guys know and give you a little overview. So we made it to Cincinnati, and we went through a few bridal stores. Um, there's a bridal district in Cincinnati called, like, Reading Bridal District. It's the largest bridal district in North America, and it's in Cincinnati, which is very close to Columbus. It's where I went wedding dress shopping for my wedding dress. And so we went there for my sister, hoping to find a wedding dress for her. So we went to a couple stores, and she was finding dresses that she really liked. And all the stores were so fun and so different from each other. So every time we went to a store, even though they're all wedding dresses, it was all different types. So um, one store was only lace dresses. One store was, like, for bigger models, like we didn't go in that one because Allison's tiny, but there is a store like that. There was a store that had like mostly used dresses. We didn't go in that store either, but anyway, you get the point. Each store had a different theme. So we went and tried on some dresses, found out kind of what Allison was looking for, what shape she liked the dress to look like, what looked best on her. I, of course, I don't want to give away too many details because I don't really want anybody to know. Not that anybody really watches these videos anyway, but I just don't want to give that away. Like, it's her wedding day. It should be a surprise. So anyway, we tried on a bunch of dresses. There were a couple that we were thinking of, and then we kind of braked for the day. And uh, we went and saw my sister Kelly, her new apartment. So she lives in Cincinnati and she just moved to a studio apartment overlooking downtown. So we went to her um, apartment to kind of see like what it was looking like. She had just moved in. It was really cute. It had a little brick wall. Um, it had uh, just, it was a studio, so the couch was right next to the bed. She had a little tiny kitchen. She had the smallest oven I've ever seen in my life. It looked like a dishwasher, but it's great for her. She doesn't need much space, and it has an awesome view off the balcony. So that was really cool. We got to see where she lived, and then the next day we went back to uh, the bridal district, and Allison found her dress. We were very excited. She found the... Um, dress that she loved. I'm not going to include a picture or anything because of course I want it to be a surprise, but she looks beautiful in it. She's so happy and confident in it. I'm glad we found it. Um, it was actually one of the ones we found like in the beginning of the day, but we wanted to go to other sources just to make sure like that really was her dress and it was. So it was fun. She had her little like, I said yes to the dress moment. Everybody clapped and um, we took a picture, so it was super fun, and we were all happy for her, and it's ordered. It's going to take a couple months to come in, but yeah, I just wanted to give a little overview. That's what happened that weekend. It was super busy, but super fun. Anthony had a great time with Grayson, just bonding, and he took care of him for me and washed him for me, so I'm super happy that he was able to do that, and it was really nice to get a little break from Grayson and just have some girl time and have a little girls weekend, so that's what happened. I just wanted to get, catch you guys up, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!